This is not financial advice. I just hope a bunch of them is, baby, because it's about to get hot in the kitchen. Now, don't invest in companies you don't understand and don't believe in, because if they dip, then you're not going to buy the dip, and then you're going to sell low and be right back here crying to me, and I'm not having that. So if you can't do the heat of these hot stocks, then stay out of the kitchen and consider investing in index funds. Now, let's talk about it. I want you to understand this. A lot of people think investing is hard to do. Actually, it's quite simple. If you get into companies that are making good money, and they are continuously profitable and growing, then guess what? You will make money along with these companies oftentimes. Now, let's talk about it. The first banger on the list, and you got to remember, you could play any speculative stocks, any speculative plays, but you got to build out that strong foundation, baby, and you got to pay yourself first. And when you pay yourself first, you got to know what to invest in. Now, I'm not telling you to buy, hold, or sell. I'm here to give you the facts so you could be the judge. Now, the first banger on the list is the big dog, the beast, the banger, and it's Apple. Check this out. Apple is currently down, basically 2% on a day. But you got to remember, why is it down? It's coming to pick us up so we could buy the things that we like for low. Now, let's talk about it. So we see it's at 168. Do we want to buy it at this price? We could, but we want to get a better price. Make sure you stay to the end of the video so you can see the technical analysis and look at key price targets and price levels to be on the lookout for. Now, let's keep it going. Apple is down 2% on the week, but notice this. It's down. Actually, it's not even down. It's up basically 28.46% in the past year. Let me zoom in so everybody can see this. It's up 28% in a whole year. Now, I want you to think, is your portfolio up 28% on a whole year? Now, if you would have been more heavy in Apple, and this doesn't mean you should, but if you were more heavy in Apple, then you would have been able to grow with them. And I want to show you how some internal conflict with the company is giving us a chance to pick it up even lower than it already is. Now, what I want you to do first is check this out. Financial Times just said that Apple shareholders are urged to vote against Tim Cook's 99 million pay package. And I'm going to explain to you everything that this is and what's going on. There's some internal conflict at Apple that's keeping people saying, ooh, what's going to happen with the stock? And then on top of that, we got the war with Russia and Ukraine or potential war, right? We got the rate hikes. We got all of these things giving us a chance to buy very, very, very low. Now, I want you to think about this. And I want to give a shout out to Stock Mo and Uncle Larry, by the way. But check this out. If you look at the charts and we think about Apple right now, if I ask you, when do you want to buy this? In this time, you would probably say, oh, yeah, I'd like to buy that right here where it was lowest, right? Or if I say, what's next? You probably say here when it was low again or here when it was low again. What am I telling you? In your mind, you want to buy the dips, but you actually have to pull the trigger on buying the dips. And you notice that it's starting to dip again. And we're going to see where the levels are that we want to buy it next. Now, again, let's keep it going. What I want you to do is jump into Discord with us so you can learn how not only to make money with the stock, but you can learn to make money with the options and learn how to do technical analysis class, family. I set it up for you nice so you're ready to go. Technical analysis class for absolute beginners and options class for absolute beginners. For example, I was able to earn basically $1,000, 200% on an AMC call. This had to be just last week, right? But keep in mind, you got to take the good and you got to take the bad. So then, guess what? We got into a, a lucid put. It dropped down just 18%. At the time, this might have been, what, $90? But you got to think, maybe even $80. Make 1000 lose 90 you win, you lose, but you make your wins way bigger than your losses. And now, that's what I want to teach you to do with the technical analysis class and options class. Now, let's see who is actually voting against Tim Cook right here. And how do you get into the Discord? Again, let me just double check and show you just to make sure. The Discord link is in the top comment. It's number one in the top comments. You go see Discord community. It's the Patreon, Keenan Grace. It's the private Discord. I will see you over there. So now let's check this out. Financial Times again, they said that Apple shareholders, but remember, it's not you. It's not me. If you own Apple, you probably didn't even know about this. But check this out. Apple shareholders urge to vote against Tim Cooks, who is the head and leader at Apple, $99 million package. Let's see what's going on with that. And let's see what shareholders they're talking about. Because who is causing this internal strife family? The institutional shareholder service. Not the retail shareholder service. The institutional shareholder service. That, that does not roll off the tongue for me. Maybe it does for you. But they said it is a significant concern. And they're calling themselves the ISS. And they last recommended, remember, they don't have a good track record with some things. They recommended against Apple Pay back in 2015. And the Financial Times made sure to highlight that so you know who we're talking to here and who we're talking about here. And it says last year, though, 
And this doesn't mean Tim Cook should or should not get this package. We're just going to talk about the facts and you be the judge. So last year, just so you understand what's going on with Tim Cook and his internal struggle that's given us a chance to pick the stock up low, it said this. Last year, Cook, he was awarded basically valued worth of $82 million worth of uh, grants and bonuses, and he had a $3 million salary. Remember, why does he have a $3 million salary and get all of these rewards? Because when you're wealthy, guess what? Your salary is one of the most heavily taxed things. But all of these other different bonuses and rewards and things like that and awards are taxed differently than a salary. So then that's why Apple would pay him out like that. But just know there are more and more things that he is getting from Apple. So let's check those out too. Because again, they are pushing way back on this. And if you're an Apple shareholder, just know I got your back with the information. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you are, have hit the notification bell. And you know what? I got you with all of the deep dives and information on basically all of the plays. So it says this, when you look at his pay package, it includes a personal security cost of over 600000 and it says a private jet cost of over 700000 But they said this. It seems like a lot. Like, whoa, they're, they're spending all of this money on this one guy. He can't be that valuable to the company, right? But then they go and then they try to clear it up. They said, Cook, his leadership is widely hailed as basically showing that Apple could do it without Steve Jobs, right? And they said he helped guide Apple to be the first company to hit a trillion dollar market cap in early January and basically quelling all of the doubts that Apple could flourish after the death of Steve Jobs in 2011. But now what I'm gonna show you is how Apple actually makes money. We talked time and time again about how, you know what, if you were to invest into something like, let's call it like a Nike, then you say, man, Nike is making shoes that cost $5 to make, but what they're going and doing is they're going and selling these shoes for like $200, for like $300, and they're making a huge profit. I'm gonna show you right now how much Apple, it costs them to make a phone and then how much they're selling it for. So you can see, oh, this company knows how to make a lot of money. I might as well go and make some money with them, right? So check this out. Apple, right here, it says that the iPhone X, and this is from Forbes, they spilled the beans back in 2008 and they kind of let, let us know in on what's going on behind the closed doors. They were charging 1,200, yeah, 1,250, for the iPhone XS Max. And then it only cost them $450 to make that iPhone, which is nearly a 200% profit margin on that specific iPhone and all of the other iPhones. Now, they cost a little more to make nowadays, it's closer to 500, but let me ask you a question in the comments. Yes or no, did you know that Apple was making iPhones for this cheap compared to what they're selling it for? Did you know? Let me know in the comments. Yes, I did know, or no, I did not know that iPhone is basically making double the profit. Sometimes it's getting closer to looking like triple, but let me know in the comments. So let's check this out. Since they're doing that, and Tim Cook is leading that, he feels as if, and a lot of people at Apple feel as if he does need to be compensated for that. And you gotta understand that whether he does or not, Apple is doing great. They made basically $123 billion in the last three months, right? So that's really, really crazy. And it's up 11% year over year. So not only are they the biggest company in the world, but they're growing like wildfire, right? So then they're saying, okay, since the CEO is really making Apple do numbers like this, then they're saying this is the argument that he should get paid or not. You be the judge of that. I won't be the judge of that. Now, check this out. Apple's 38% gross margin, basically as a whole company, meaning, all right, it cost them this much to basically operate, but then when you look at the how much money they're making and they're earning in between, that 38% gross margin was about as certain as death and taxes. They was killing it every year after year after year after year, quarter after quarter, they was getting that gross margin. Until recently, when the percentage basically jumped to 42.5. So not only are they consistent with making money, they're getting better at it, family, again and again and again. And how? Price hikes from services and products, family. So they're getting... Basically, they're charging a little bit more and making even more money. So, again, Apple is straight up killing the game. And when you look at their, their earnings, fam, look, their earnings, is just, they're getting better and better and better. Look at this. All the way up here, they keep beating their earnings. This dark or circle right here, this is what they actually earned, and this is what they expected to earn. So they beat expectations once, twice. They met their expectations, and then they beat their expectations again. So they keep getting better and better at beating expectations. Now, let's talk about the what Wall Street is saying. Wall Street says that they see Apple jumping up to max up to 215, could do better, 
who will see. They said on the median though, they see it going to 193 and on the low, 161. Now, again, you gotta take these price targets with a grain of salt because Wall Street, you know what time it is with them. But let's check this out. Let's do some technical analysis. Very simple, let's keep it simple. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put a horizontal line at a support level. And again, how do you find the supports? Join the technical analysis class. You will learn it so easy, I got your bag. But what I want you to do is ask yourself, where would you have wanted to buy this in recent times? You would have said, oh yeah, I wanna buy it right here, right at this level. And guess what? You are not alone. Many other people are thinking that same thing. So this is our support where Apple comes off of here and bounces up. So our next support is about 155, 156. Now, if Apple was to fall under this level, it is likely to fall to about, let's call it 140. Now, 140 would be an excellent, excellent price, in my opinion, to buy Apple. So what I want you to do, again, is hit the like button on your way out. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. But if you can't handle the heat of these hot stocks, then stay out of the kitchen and consider investing in the index funds. Again, I love y'all, family. Take care.